Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube. Lloyd's Welton here. Um, I didn't have no video of the grading process. I uh, had concrete poured. This is about uh, four days or so after it's poured, and I'm going to let it dry good and uh, before we start working on it. But we're pulling all these windows right here out. We're going to put two on the front and then uh, one over here on the side where I'm pointing at. Uh, we're going to have a bathroom back here in the back. The, van, the closet's going to be right there to the left. Uh, yeah, right there. The vanity's going to be right there. And the tub's right there. And the toilet's going to go right in there somewhere. But uh, here's the layout of it. It's what it's kind of going to look like. But I think I'm going to turn the toilet the other way towards the other wall. And that's Kilo acting the fool. Uh... You could hear him on the original video, and it drowned me out, so I went over it. But uh, we're pulling all the vinyl siding off. We got to take all the sheeting on the roof down, and all the trim. And right in this area, I'm gonna have to build a stand. We got to put that 20-ton bottle jack, jack up the roof, and pull knock his post out when I get the wall built. And it's gonna be a two by eight wall. There's all the two baits I'm using, two by fours. Hold real good. And the only reason I'm using two by eights is because I've got a, a seven and a half inch wall here. So two by eights are seven and a quarter. So by the time, if I set them on the inside, uh, by the time I put my sheeting on the outside, it'll be a quarter inch over. It'll be perfect for vinyl siding. My plans are, as of right now, to come down with sheetrock, stop at the brick, and I'm going to do rock on the inside of the house, and I'm going to try to do rock on the outside of the house. I'm not 100% sure on that yet. depends on how much it's going to cost and whatnot, and, but I, I'd like to try it because I've never done it before. Um, but right now, I'm going around taking all that off, starting it all the way around. And then, uh, like I said, jack this wall up frame this whole side in first frame my back in put my windows where i want them and then start laying out my floor where my closet walls doors are going to be my wall and then my my room for the bathroom where the door is going to be that way i got a template and everything square to go off of on the floor but this is where i'm at guys all right guys this is what i got done so far it's uh the wall for that side, it's uh, 16 foot. So I have to build another eight foot on the end, I think, or a little less than eight foot. But it should go all the way to that post right there. That window is one of these windows right here. And then, like I said, the other two will be on the front side. But, uh, I've done this all in one day, which is not a lot, but it's just me and my wife working on it when she can help me here and there. <clears throat> and we got to get down through here, and I think I'm going to buy four by fours and put one every other one to saw them at one inch above what I need, jack it up an inch, set a four by four under it, let it down, and then go down the roof that way, and then get the wall in as soon as we get the wall in come back and start letting it down all the way down i put the lights back up a little outside light so i have better light down here i got another box i might string some up down here that way it's real bright in here especially when i start closing it in but um <clears throat> here for long if i don't get this up soon i'm gonna go ahead and measure that end and uh go ahead and build the wall for the end while I've got it and then that way if I can get people over here to help me I can just do the whole wall in one day and we'll liquid nails the top of that all the way down I was going to uh, put some concrete anchors in it but I'm afraid with that two inch cap block on there there's a crack right there where my fingernails at I'm afraid with that cap block on there if I try to drill through it with it being so old I'm going to end up busting the cap blocks and I don't want to do that so I'm just going to glue them down to it, and then I'm going to run three, three and a half inch screws to the top, and that should hold it, I'd say. But this is where we're at. It's starting to come together. 
All right, guys, here's some pictures of the house where we put the wall up. Um, this next picture is a stand I made uh, to hold the bottle jack and hold everything steady. Um, the picture you see there, the board is actually bowed that much, holding that roof up. We used a 20-ton bottle jack from one of my buddies. He, uh, he let me borrow it. But uh, the rest are just pictures of what it looks like right now. Go through the mud puddle again. Flipped over. All right, guys. Um, got four walls up today. Uh, got the back back there framed up for the window. Uh, like I said, that's the window that's going in it. But I got room to adjust it side to side where I want to. But really... My wife likes it that big, so we're going to see if we can special order one. Um, over here, my wall wasn't square. Right here, this wall wasn't square. And then it hangs out with a lip right there. I probably said it in another video. But so I'm just going to build a whole new set of walls down through here, insulate both of them. It should be getting thick. Uh, that right there is going to be the closet. We'll have uh, sliding doors going with each way. Vanity be right there. Shower will be right there. Toilet be right in there. And, of course, the other doorway right here. Um, it's coming along fairly quick. The next thing I've got to do is... I've got to build a wall in there for the shower. Um, and then really the only next thing to do is knock out this front wall. And when I get that done, sheet everything. Um, put the windows in or sheet everything. Put the wrap on the outside of the house. Uh, put the window flashing sticky stuff around the windows and then caulk my windows in and I should be able to start cutting this out put my door and stuff in here but this is where we're at so far we about got all the framing work done as soon as we get all the framing done I got two more three more walls to build this wall right here where the windows are going to be the wall behind me and the wall for the bathroom for the shower and that should be it that should be all i have to do and when i get them done um i can start laying out my wiring and i've got to get my plumber over here so he can tell me what's the best way to run this stuff um plumbing is just not something not my forte i could probably do it if i tried which if plumber don't get here uh, I might have to do that. I got to put a double top plate up here. Uh, forgot to do that before I stood this wall up. Uh, I wasn't going to put a double top plate up, but I was like, well, let's go ahead and do it. Cause I'm like here, the wall fit good all the way down. And I had to jack it up right there to knock that wall in. And then my, I guess either my concrete guy or something. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it's touching the wall down there and I built it the same height and I got a good, you know, inch and a half, almost two inch gap on this end. And then when I measured this wall here to that wall, you know, that corner down there, it's uh, right at an inch off. So I know the concrete's off some, uh, 
but it could have been from two. He might have had the right measurement on there depth wise. But when I built this wall across here, something was different. I moved something. I made it the same as it is up here. You know, same down there is the same as up here now, where it might have been an inch off down there, and I just never knew it. So, but that's where we're at, guys.